Hey there! Before we jump into the video, I want to tell you about our math video game called Mage Math. The game will help your child feel more confident in math, and our math videos are inside the game to really help your child succeed. You can find the game and all our videos at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey guys, this is my friend Gig. You may already know him from the other videos. Today Gig is trying to figure out how much of a cookie he should share with me. As you can see, this cookie is one whole cookie, and I think he should share part of it with us, don't you? I agree, but Gig does not like fractions when it means he loses part of a cookie. Why don't you learn from my friend about fractions and word problems while I convince Gig to let me have some cookie? Um, Gig, where are you going with the cookie? Tony biked three-fourths miles on Monday and one and two-fourths miles on Tuesday. How many miles did he bike in all? Will you help me solve this problem? Let's draw a model to show how much Tony biked each day. First, let's draw a rectangle that represents one mile. If Tony biked three-fourths miles, we first need to divide the mile into four equal parts. Now we can show Tony biked three out of the four parts, or three-fourths of a mile. On Tuesday, we know Tony biked one and two-fourths miles. To model this, we need two more rectangles, this time also partitioned into four equal parts each. Now we can shade one whole rectangle and two out of the four parts of the second rectangle, and this will model one and two-fourths. To find out how far Tony biked altogether, let's add the shaded pieces together and fill up as many whole rectangles as we can. See how I can take one-fourth from the rectangle below and fill it into the first one? That gives us two whole rectangles and one-fourth. So we have two and one-fourth miles. We found that three-fourths miles plus one and two-fourth miles equals two and one-fourth miles. The picture model was really helpful, but what if I wanted to solve the problem without the picture? I know we want to find three-fourths plus one and two-fourths. To add fractions and mixed numbers, we add the fractional parts because they have like denominators. So let's rewrite the problem as 3 fourths plus 2 fourths plus 1. Next, to add fractions with like denominators, we add their numerators and we leave the denominator. So 3 fourths plus 2 fourths is 5 fourths. Don't forget, we still want to add that 1. Notice that 5 fourths is an improper fraction. And don't forget that 4 fourths is equal to 1 whole. So 5 fourths can be written as 1 and 1 fourth. Plus, we're still adding the 1. We can now combine this mixed number with the whole number by adding the whole number parts. 1 plus 1 is 2 and we still have the 1 fourth. So this is another way to show that 3 fourths plus 1 and 2 fourths equals 2 and 1 fourths. Great job! How about a different problem? I see the pizza delivery person just dropped off three pizzas. My friends and I are hungry. If we ate 1 and 1 6 pizza, how much pizza is left? I see we have one whole pizza left, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 6 pieces left in another pizza. That's 5 6 pizza. Altogether, we have 1 and 5 6 pizzas left. We can also say, Three pizzas minus one and one sixth pizza equals one and five sixths pizzas. 
If I wanted to find the difference by hand, we would start by writing 3 minus 1 and 1 sixth. This problem means I need to take away 1 and 1 sixth from 3. Well, I can easily take away 1 from 3, but it's not that easy to take away 1 sixth from 3. We'll need a fraction with the same denominator. So let's rewrite 3 as 2 and 6 sixths. That's just another way to say one whole. Now our problem is 2 and 6 6 minus 1 and 1 6. We'll subtract the whole numbers first. 2 minus 1 equals 1. And now we'll subtract the fractional parts. 6 6 minus 1 6 equals 5 6. Therefore, we just found that 2 and 6 6 minus 1 and 1 6 equals 1 and 5 6. Last week I had some friends over and we had also ordered three pizzas. I noticed after we were done eating that we had 3 eighths of a pizza left. See how there are 3 out of 8 slices shaded? How much pizza did we eat? By the picture, I can see we ate two whole pizzas. Now let's count the blank areas on the first pizza where there were slices. One, two, three, four, five. We ate five out of eight slices on that pizza. That means altogether we ate two and five eighths pizza. What if we wanted to solve this problem without a model? We would want to find 3 minus 3 eighths, where this difference would equal the amount of pizza that we ate. Since we want to subtract a fraction from a whole number, we need to rewrite 3 as 2 and 8 eighths. Why? Because our fraction that we're working with is 3 eighths, and eighths is the denominator. Also, 8 eighths is equal to 1 whole, so we just converted one of the three wholes into an equivalent fraction. Now we can subtract. There is no whole number to subtract, so 2 will be in the answer. Next, we subtract 8 eighths minus 3 eighths. To do so, subtract the numerators and leave the common denominator. 8 minus 3 is 5, so we get 5 eighths. We found that 3 minus 3 eighths is equal to 2 and 5 eighths. Altogether, my friends and I ate 2 and 5 eighths pizza. It looks like Gig decided he would eat the whole cookie. I am not sure cookies are good for robots, especially when they are that big of a cookie. Well, thanks for joining us today. I'm going to take care of Gig. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you for watching our video. To support us in making more videos, please check out our game at magemath.com. MageMath will really help your child have fun with math, so check it out today.